cabelos cor de mel Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you guys my most complimented summer fragrances, perfumes that have me on rotation, perfumes that have me on a chokehold, okay? I love captivating perfumes. Like, I have to wear something that will have you intrigued and want to speak to me and ask me what I'm wearing, 100%. I am very confident that you guys will love it because they are very fresh, fruity, floral. They actually very captivating, like I said, and they capture the true essence of the season. Now, if you'd like to know which perfumes those are, stay tuned. But before we get started, before we start name dropping the perfumes, let's first address the big elephant in the room. You guys really came through for me. On the last video that I did with fragrances, it was my most viewed YouTube video. I wanna give a big shout out to you guys for really being so supportive on the last video that I did for fragrances. I am truly, truly honored. Like, I couldn't believe my eyes. Like, the numbers were just kept increasing. It was like over 130,000 people that watched. It's literally my most viewed YouTube video. I am forever grateful to you guys, for everyone that liked, commented, shared, for anyone that bought the perfumes from the links I put, for anyone who gave me a feedback, for anyone who gave me more recommendations of perfumes I should try. I literally couldn't believe the community that we were building, and I am so grateful to you guys. Thank you so much again. If you haven't seen that video, it's not too late. I'm gonna leave the video in the description box for you guys to check it out. Now, I'm back by popular demand, if I do so say myself, <laughs> because you guys were like, yo, when is the next video for the perfumes coming? I have people in my DMs talking about what perfume are you wearing now? When are you gonna drop the next video for the perfume recommendations? You guys really loved the perfumes that I um, recommended. So I'm back again. This time, I, I have brands that I have worked with here, brands that sent me this perfume, so I'm gonna be fully transparent with you guys from the beginning. However, I have a lot of brands that reach out to me and send me stuff, but these top five perfumes, oh, they are scrum delicious, I tell you. Let's get into it, let's, let's discuss more so that we can have a hot gal summer together. Now, the first perfume I'm gonna talk about is from Diptyque Paris. This is called Ou Nabati. Love this perfume so much. It is so citrusy. I'm gonna put the notes here. Very fresh, very captivating. And I'm also gonna give you guys a scenario of where I'd wear this. This can be an everyday perfume. It really stands out. Let me just spray it again. Yes, I don't have anything like this in my collection. In fact, I've never tried any perfumes from Diptyque. Comment below if you have. I've only tried their um, candles and their candles are phenomenal. Now the perfume that I'm talking about, Unabati is that girl. So on their website, this is what it says about the perfume. It says, deep within the dunes, an oasis outside of time. Honestly, I feel like that's exactly what it does. Unabati Eau de Perfume is an imaginary stroll through a garden in paradise. The warm, spicy wind reveals lively notes of citrus fruits, which I've been saying it's very citrusy. In a composition rich in contrast, fresh bergamot, petit grain mingle in the amber of warmth of immortal flowers and a balm of Peru. This opposing elements in harmony. I haven't tried any other perfume from Diptyque, but this Unabati alone, I'm convinced. I'm convinced that they know what they're doing because wow, a beautiful scent. I would highly recommend this. This is an everyday, if you go to work, if you're working in an office, I feel like this is a perfume you can wear and it will have people talking about you, 100%. So let's go on to the next perfume now. Next perfume is from Replica. I love this perfume. This is called On A Date and the fragrance description, it's on the bottle. As you guys know, this is our favorite ones to read what is inside. It is Grapes and Roses and I, I can't even explain it. Just the same way it says the name On A Date, I feel like I would wear this on a date because it's just so feminine. It is gorgeous, it is girly, it is sexy. I feel like this is perfect. I put this on my hair, I put this on my body, I put this on my clothes. I highly recommend to check this out. Replica has a lot of good perfumes. This is now my second one. You guys remember I already have the um, By the Fireplace, which I like gravitating towards like colder weathers. In the summer, this will have you fresh. It will have you not sticky. It's just cooling. You can even wear this to bed when you're sleeping on a, you know what I mean? Like those nights where you're trying to get some. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the perfume for you. It is superb, super feminine, so gentle and stands out. I feel like, let's spray that. When I smelt this for the first time, I asked myself where, where it's been all my life. Like literally, that's how, you know when you, when you smell a fragrance and you're like, where have you been, girl? Where have you been? Like, that's what it gave me. 
I would highly recommend to pick this up if you get a chance. Try the tester if you want to from Sephora. Beautiful, beautiful scent, 10 out of 10. Today I'm giving you fragrances that are all 10 out of 10. So don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me, okay? Next, I have a fragrance that ever since I got it, I have not put it down. Every single day I wear this perfume. This is by Ellis Brooklyn. Oh my God, it's called Sunfruit. This is literally, the, when I say the perfumes I'm gonna recommend capture the essence of the season, this, this captures the essence of the season. It is very fruity, very fresh. It literally feels like you're walking and strolling in a garden full of lemons and just beautiful, 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 beautiful landscape. Like it takes me to a happy place. I don't know how to explain it. Like, oh my God, every single time I smell it, I'm just like, I'm just wowed. I'm in awe, <laughs> I'm in awe. You know what I'm saying? So I would highly recommend, if you're looking for a big perf, look, listen, I, the fact that I spray this every day and it's still, it's, it's somewhere here. You can't see it from the bottle, but it's somewhere here. I love this perfume ever since I got it. I even traveled when I went to Houston. I wore this every single day. Like I have, and I'm traveling again. And trust me, this will be the perfume that I carry for my next trip as well, because I, I just can't live without it. It's just, it's that girl for me. They have other um, body sprays and perfumes that are top notch. So when I try those and I get a chance to try those, I will let you know. But so far I've tried the sun fruit and I'm absolutely obsessed. Check it out if you get a chance. Next, we have a very simple, yet classy, elegant, that girl perfume. This is Beautiful Magnolia by Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder holds a very special place in my heart. The first perfume I ever had was from Estee Lauder and it was gifted to me by my dad, God rest his soul. I just have a very big love relationship with anything Estee Lauder. Honestly, like I pray one day I get the chance to work with them like vastly because I would be a great representative. I'm not even kidding. Like I just, my dad was everything to me. So anyways, this reminds me of my dad. <laughs> and, and that is here. It's part of my heart, okay? This beautiful magnolia smells so fresh. Like if you just want something airy, it's hot today, it's 90 degrees, 100 degrees, and you want something airy, like despite you're standing in the heat, you just smell like a freaking the freshest magnolia tree ever or flower ever, this is the one. It is 10 out of 10, the most freshest summer necessity, I would say. So check this out when you get a chance and let me know in the comment section if you tried this already because it's just, it's just perfect. Like if you have a younger sister, you can also give this to her. I feel like it's also young, like it's fresh and young. I don't know, it just reminds me of good memories. It's a good memory type of thing for me. That's why I love it. This is Alien Elixir by Mugler. I love this perfume so much. It is, oh my God. First of all, I got the chance to go to the Mugler fashion show with H&M. Uh, Big Sis took me. You guys remember I vlogged that. It was such a phenomenal time. I had the best time ever. So when they sent this over to me, I was like, I'm that girl, okay? <laughs> I was feeling myself, I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was a good, it was a full circle moment. I was like, oh my God, they remembered me. So that was really sweet of them. I highly recommend to grab this if you're looking for also a fresh scent, clean scent, um, everyday perfume, running errands perfume, going to the grocery perfume. Like it's just an everyday, I, I wear this to the gym as well. It's very fresh and just captivating. And that's what this summer is about. You don't wanna wear something too heavy that's gonna give you a headache. This particular perfume is so refreshing and it's just soothing to the, to the heart. Absolutely, 100%. It's very, very light and airy. So 100% recommend. No. Next perfume is by K. Ali. This is Young Pistachio Gelato 33. I love this perfume so much. It is very playful. Oh my God. At the beginning, there is there's a little tiny, tiny bit of citrus opening. Then you smell fruits. Like I feel there's a lot of fruits in here. In the middle, I feel, I smell whipped cream. And then at the end, hits me with the pistachio. Very beautiful gourmand flavor. It's not fully a gourmand scent. I would say this is a hybrid of gelato and sherbet. And little tiny situation was the fact that it's not as like long lasting, but you would get five hours out of this. You would get five hours with moderation out of it. I love the color of the perfume. I even love the bottle shape. Like that diamond old school Middle Eastern old 
oud bottles. Yeah, I mess with it, 100%. I also get cotton candy and I get the nutty pistachio nest going on and I, I'm here for it. I absolutely love the scent. I feel like it's phenomenal. It's such a happy um, perfume. This reminds me of in Atlantis. We're having iftar. It's a vibe. We're wearing our jalabi. A girl going after to have karak tea. D don't ask questions, but this makes me happy, okay? And it's, it's, it's making the cut. It's making the cut. This is literally giving me 10 out of 10 vibes. Okay, Ali, if you're watching this, I want to try the new scent you guys have. <laughs> I know they have a new collection of the wedding series and I would love to indulge in that as well. But this one, I would highly recommend to get it if you are looking to get a soft introduction to Middle Eastern perfumes. This is a good, this is a good welcome um, note. This will welcome you into beautiful Middle Eastern perfumes and absolutely love her. 10 out of 10. Now, last but not least, this is the one I also spoke about in my previous um, videos. This is by Jo Malone, Peony Blush Suede. Listen, like Jo Malone and Summer is like, like this, like this. I would have also recommended my Guerlain, my favorite perfume ever, but you guys don't wanna know what happened to it. So once we moved to this apartment, um, the the sun, where it, there's a lot of sun. So this, where the sun hits is where I had put all my perfumes. Tell me how my Guerlain changed the scent and also um, changed the color. So just a tip for me, you guys, if you have your perfumes out in a closet, like in a drawer or like a chest, whatever, where you keep your stuff, Make sure it's not directly on the sun. The sun will change the scent and the sun will change the formula and the sun will change the color. So don't put your perfumes with too much sunlight exposure is what I'm saying. Cause I didn't know that. I thought just, it looks really nice. It was decorated. I was like, wow, let me put my perfumes there, girl. My best perfume is at the door. Okay, anyways, right now these are the ones I have and these are the ones I absolutely love. Um, comment below if you've tried any of these perfumes and we shall meet again. I didn't want to put oils in this video. I think I'm going to do a separate oils video because the oils I have for you guys, the recommendations, I'm bringing all my Somaliness out. No gatekeeping, okay? L to be honest, the Somali, Muslim, Arabic community, we've been knowing about the oud. The ouds and the oils have been in our culture. So. I want to take my time with that video because I'm going to make a collection and the next trip I'm taking where I'm going to, there will even be more oils where I'm going. So I'm going to get some from there as well and just recommend a couple for you guys. For today's video, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys my five best summer um, perfumes, perfumes that I have on rotation. Honestly, my favorite one, if you ask me, is this one. I'm obsessed with this perfume, the Sunfruit from Ellis Brooklyn. It's just... It's everything. It's, I think this is my summer perfume. So yeah, with that being said, it was a pleasure as always. And I will leave everything in the description box for you guys to purchase if you're interested. Thank you so much again. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao.